sorry. Can I get a cup? There's a small cup. Oh, okay, that's fine. Thank you so much. I'll be right back. I just want to get right into it guys. Two weeks ago, I got an octopus. What you just saw is what happened when I was taking it home and mid-flight, it decided to ink in its container. All right, so we repacked our octopus in a little bit of a more, I would call, flight-friendly container. So we got him in a smaller container inside a bigger container. So we are now in an Uber on our way to the airport with this guy. Are we good to just take them yeah, when you're ready? Not done yet. Okay. Let's go and see what's inside the water. Sure. You can just the exterior. You must open the cover just to make sure what's inside is, is what, it's just water. Okay, that's fine. It's not water, but it's fish. It's not water. So I'm going to have you open the top, okay? Okay. Let's try not to get it. Okay. Cheers, man. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Is that the whole Yeah, he's oh, hanging to the cool. top. All right, so that's the thing with airport security is you're allowed to bring live animals through. I've done it before with my fish. As long as there's something living in the water, they know that there's nothing wrong with the water. So we've done this tons of times. Uh, they just check it really quick. It's like a pH swab and then we're on our way. My younger brother was actually the one who noticed it first. I was sleeping as I usually do on flights. He had no idea what was going on. When I saw the water in the container was dark, I immediately knew that it had inked. So I grabbed it, I rushed to the bathroom, which was like a few rows behind us. Now there was a lady in line in front of me and this is one of the most embarrassing things I've had to do in my life. And I can't imagine how crazy I sounded, but blurted out, my act was just in. Can I cut, can I go, can I? She was like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now a lot of people on the flight sort of knew we had the octopus because they had either seen it when we were waiting to get on or when we were boarding. But obviously I was trying to keep super calm because I didn't want any of the flight attendants to find out. I go into the bathroom to dump the water out. The water in the container is so black that you can't even see the octopus in there. And I knew I had to get him out of that water as soon as possible because when an octopus inks, it's a self-defense mechanism. But if an octopus doesn't escape its own ink quickly enough, it can actually kill the octopus itself. This was exactly why I wanted to bring it on the plane with me so that in case that happened, I would be ready to help it. So I reached in there, I pulled it out, and I put it on the counter so that I could deal with the water. But then he immediately started moving. I couldn't handle everything that was going on at once. I still needed to rinse out both containers. So I called for my younger brother, Yanni, to come help me. At this point, my cameraman, Austin, decided to start recording. So we go back to the bathroom. The flight attendant now is there around the corner now we have to explain to the flight attendant why both of us are going in there sorry can i get a cup There's a small cup. okay that's fine thank you so much i'll be right back we were trying to corral this octopus into the cup because we didn't really want to like manhandle it or hurt it and also i was scared that it would bite me if i picked it up a lot of people don't know this but octopuses and it is octopuses for plural not octopi all octopuses can bite and um, all octopuses are technically venomous now there's really only one or two species that can kill you with their venom the most famous being the blue ring octopus which will kill you in a few minutes but ours although it does have venom it wouldn't have killed me but it, i don't know everyone reacts differently to venom so i wasn't really in the mood for it to bite me so that's why we were trying to use a cup but it would not go in there on its own as soon as i saw it heading back towards the sink i had no choice but to grab it with my hand if it had gotten to the sink who knows what would have happened it could have squeezed through the drain and that would have been the end of the octopus. Octopuses can pretty much squeeze through any hole that is bigger than the size of its beak. You heard that right. On the center of their underside, octopuses have a beak. That's why people say that if an octopus bites you, it's like a mix between a parrot bite and a bee sting. We used the cup so that we could hide him from the airline staff. I didn't want anyone to see me carrying this octopus out of the bathroom. So we took him back to our seats and put him into the now empty container. We were really lucky because the flight was landing in 50 minutes. Now Orlando to Chicago isn't a very long flight anyways. Wouldn't have been too worried because something that a lot of people don't realize is that octopuses can spend significant amounts of time out of water. Typically they do this in the wild when they're moving from tide pool to tide pool and you'll notice that they are quite fast on land. So as the flight's landing, I'm texting my mom frantically. I know you're not supposed to do that, but like this was kind of an emergency. So I texted my mom, bring salt water from one of my tanks. The octopus inked, come now. She goes, no, you didn't call me to let me know. Now dinner is ready. 
classic mom. After a few more texts, she realized that I was being serious. We rushed out of the airport. She met us with a few gallons of the salt water I told her to bring, put the octopus in that water. We took it home as quickly as we could. He's already stressed out to the max, so we're honestly just gonna let him swim out on his own. He's got tons of rock in there, so plenty of hiding spaces for whenever he's ready to leave his container. I'm gonna give you guys an update on how my octopus is doing now. Finally, this is like the exciting part. For the last two weeks, my octopus has been doing very well. Um, I've been surprised. You should keep in mind that these smaller species only live for about six months to two years. So the fact that I'm going on two weeks, sure it's great, but there's a long way to go. Sometimes he's super active and other times he's extremely shy. He eats very well. I've never fed live foods to any of my other aquarium animals. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet. It's sort of sad, but with my octopus, I've been feeding him small little feeder crabs and snails. These are going a long way to keep him stimulated as well as to give him the proper diet. Now in the wild, these guys are pretty ruthless. They'll eat whatever they can find. And sometimes they'll eat potential partners if they can't find anything else. It's true that sometimes when male octopuses go to mate with female octopuses, the female will just strangle the male and eat him. And you thought your girlfriend was bad. Also, this is a real thing, but if octopuses get bored enough, they'll start to eat themselves. Yeah, they'll literally start eating their own foot. I told you, these guys are kind of crazy. Although it can regrow arms, so technically, I might be completely misunderstanding the genius that is an octopus. Also, as many of you know, their camouflaging abilities, what some of you probably don't realize is just how quickly they will change colors and sometimes texture in an attempt to blend in with their surroundings. Usually before I feed my octopus, I have to spend at least 30 seconds or so just searching around the tank, trying to find where it is because it does blend in so well with the rocks in my tank. They're also incredibly smart and resourceful. Um, they're one of the smartest invertebrates on the planet, which is why they've actually escaped many major public aquariums. Octopuses are obviously known to be able to open childproof containers, squeeze through crevices and cracks, and there's even a story of an octopus who had squirted water at an electrical board at a public aquarium, shutting the aquarium down and making its getaway down the hallway. These guys aren't always just necessarily looking to escape. More or less, they're constantly looking to be entertained. If you aren't stimulating them enough on a regular basis though, this will result in them trying to escape. Flashback. The reason we chose this tank was because it has this heavy lid that goes all the way around. He can escape be through that hatch. We're gonna tape that down. Through the lid, there's no way it can escape. The only other way it could possibly get out is through the intake filter right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover that with a poly filter pad. That way, we're gonna make sure there's no way this guy can pull a Houdini on us. We're not taking any chances. We're gonna be taking a 10 pound weight and putting it on this lid. I think we're just gonna call it a night here. End of flashback. Now there's gonna be a lot of you that probably comment, I've already seen this comment on my last octopus video that these should remain in the ocean. And I don't disagree with you, but I also think that seahorses should remain in the ocean. But my seahorses in this tank are captive bred, which makes them healthier for aquarium keepers and more available so that now in 2019, we don't have to take seahorses from the wild anymore to keep them in our aquariums. They're all captive bred, which is awesome, but I don't think that would have been possible if initially we didn't keep wild caught seahorses in our aquariums, learned more about them, and developed that animal into a pet that could be bred for the aquarium trade. So I do hope that octopuses will become a pet that more people can keep because so far I've had mine for two weeks and he has taught me a whole lot and it is very rewarding. But if anything from this video, I, I probably wanna discourage you from keeping an octopus as a pet. It's a lot of responsibility. They're extremely sensitive and unpredictable. A lot of time if you order an octopus online, they are notorious for inking in the package during shipping and it dies before it even reaches your doorstep. But um, my goal for this octopus is that if I can use him to educate people, not necessarily on keeping octopuses in your home aquariums, but on octopuses in general, I will have considered my husbandry with this animal a success. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.